What's happening everybody? I'm Daniel DJ LSB Vapes and welcome back to the channel. Every once in a while we see new manufacturers introducing new products to this rather saturated market and some actually do well from the start. Wayne Star appears to be a brand new manufacturer with quite a few products already announced. In fact, I've already received quite a few of them to review so expect to see more from them in the days to come. Today we'll take a look at their pod system called Kylin. The Kylin name already exists as you may know by now. The Kylin RTAs and the Kylin AIO, well, this is the Kylin pod system with some quite nice features actually, so let's check it out. Inside the box you'll find the device in the color you chose with a pod but no coil head inside. You'll find two replaceable coil heads, a user manual, a warranty card, as well as a Type A to Type C USB 2.0 charging cable. The device is very lightweight and with a nice solid construction. It's lightweight because the body is aluminum, while the top and bottom are plastic. By the way, at the very bottom is where you will find the Type-C USB charging port. Here you have an LED indicator light. At the top we also have two very conveniently located windows to display the liquid level inside the pod. The pod has a non-removable mouthpiece and attaches to the battery using magnets and even has top fill. That's right, pop the mouthpiece section off and you find your top fill openings covered with a plug of course. The mouthpiece is comfortable and the pod attaches to the battery very nicely with no play or movement which is great perfect fit. Inside the connection area you can see a little hole sticking out because this one is automatically activated by draw and under the pod are the magnets and the hole for the coil head. The package has some conflicting information about the coil head included here but I measured the coil head myself and it's in fact 0.98 ohm so pretty much 1 ohm. Both coil heads included here are the same by the way. However there's no information on the coils themselves or the material the coil is made of and that's always a con in my book. Installing the coil head is super easy, once you prime it of course, it just slides right into the hole on the pod and we even have this little lever to secure the coil head. That's interesting but really not necessary when the coil head already fits very snug anyway. It's the first time I see something like this to be honest. Now see how the airflow slot is different on each side of the pod and also how there's a little wall on one of the sides of this connector. That's because we have two airflow options so depending on the orientation of the pod you will get one of the two airflow settings offered here with this device. To fill or refill this one, well, it's stupid simple. Just pop the top section open on an angle, otherwise you pull the pod out instead. Pull out the plug all the way to expose both the fill hole and the vent hole and fill it up. Closing it is almost as easy, just put the plug back in and replace the top section. That's it. The LED down here will show only one of two colors when you vape. And here you can see how it works, so just two battery level indicators per se. Not a whole lot to be fair. Although this device is always going to output 3.5 volts, which makes it a very constant output pod system, which is very refreshing to see to say the least. To recharge it, just use a Type-C USB cable. As simple as that, however, there's no vape while charging so you need to wait till it's fully charged to use it again. Really interesting new device from a brand new company I think, at least I've never heard of them before. It will be interesting to see how it stacks up against the competition over the next couple of days testing it. So. The Kylin pod system. It will be available soon in six different colors but the price is unknown at the time I'm shooting this review. But this is a brand new product from a brand new manufacturer so that's to be expected. Just google it in a few more days. And even though a brand new company I'm pretty sure at least I've never heard of them before they've actually knocked it out of the park with this one. Yes it's your traditional pod system with not a lot of features and very simple operation but there's actually quite a few things they got right and very right I have to say. Say. Top fill, easy and practical, even though you still have to pull out a plug but it's top fill and a lot more practical to fill and refill without a doubt. Also constant output which I've been asking for for so long and only now we start seeing simple pot systems delivering constant output. We have that here, which is insanely appreciated, but you still feel a little drop towards the end of your battery. Not significant, but still present. I just don't understand the little locking lever to lock the coil in place. It's really not needed, but hey, you have an extra safety feature. Perhaps you have multiple pods and you want to carry them around full of liquid and with a coil head and ready to go, the coil head will be locked then. 
The flavor is really good. It reminds me of the Smok RPM coilheads with very crisp flavor and very above average warmth as well. That is if you have it set on the tightest airflow setting. The wider airflow setting give you a colder vape. And that's because with the widest airflow setting, this thing is a lot more airy than the vast majority of pod systems. So the flavor also suffers a little bit. Needless to say, my favorite airflow setting is the tightest one, which is a smidge tighter than a Caliburn A2, although not by much. So allowing for a loose mouth lung vape or a very restricted direct lung vape, I like it. I actually like it a lot. The automatic draw switch is very responsive, so no problems there either. And we even have windows on the sides to check the liquid level inside the pod. I just wish it had more steps of battery feedback the battery level feedback. Also, that the material the coils inside the coil heads are made with was stated somewhere. Oh, and an up-to-date Type-C USB port to recharge the internal battery. Battery which is in reality an 800 mAh capacity battery, recharges reaching 1 amp peak and takes about 1 hour to recharge, which is not too bad. Other than that, if I was to rate this one, I would give it a B plus. A very surprising little device from a company I've never heard of before, which is always exciting, don't you think? I just wish they succeed with this product and more to come, so we can easily find replacement coil heads. I also wish they produce more devices using the same coil head, but a guy can only wish. All right, that's it, I'm done. Stay sexy and vape on.